trying here in new town kolkata smart city we are trying to our overall objective is to have a sustainable development and our overall objective is to have uh, the better use of technology for everybody young and old so with this i have a brief presentation to share and uh, next slide please so well, new town kolkata is a satellite city of kolkata and it is about 30 square kilometers in area we call it its age is it is only 14 years old still evolving it has got a it has got a uh, target population of 1 million, but right now the population is around 62,000. And it is not only a city for staying, it is a city for economic activity, educational, fintech hub, Silicon Valley tech hub, and also health hub, along with residences, co working spaces, and a lot of very, very planned urban development. We have many epithets. Once, uh, one, uh, of course, is uh, we are a certified green uh, city, certified by the IGBC as a, one of the five cities of India to be so certified. We are a cycle-friendly city. We are a happy city. Yes, you heard that right. With IIT Kharagpur, we have subjected ourselves to a three-year scrutiny and have been termed as a happy city with a certain score. And we are also a solar city under the, with a target to reduce the dependence on the fossil fuels. So we are working at various levels to try and make uh, Newtown Kolkata a flagship city under the Smart City Society mission in Bengal and, Kol and India. Next. Next. <clears throat> In the in the in the field of uh, in the field of mobility, in, in 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 we are very proud about having like the Ola and Uber apps, cabs. We are having apps driven bicycles. We have 18 kilometers of cycle tracks, and we used it very very forcefully during the COVID pandemic. We tried to argue with the people that bikes, shared cabs, public transportation, and even the three-wheeler e-rickshaws and autos are bad for the pandemic, cycle instead wherever you can. Since everybody in tall towers in Newton, we have very tall towers, uh, cannot have a cycle. So we got this cycle apps, public bicycle shared scheme under the smart city and it's proving to be very, very popular along with the cycle tracks. We are also having uh, smart smart bus stands. The smart is not only in terms of designing, it's very, very ultra modern and chic, but, but we also have created a small food shop or kiosk within the bus stand. And the figure on the top left hand corner where the man is standing in the right side of the photograph behind him is the kiosk where you get samosas and tea and he makes brisk business. So along with the bus stand, we have created an employment per bus stand and also and also he's keeping an eye as a security guard. So instead of employing a security guard and paying him, I have put a person who is earning and making an earning serving the people. And I think it's a very, very smart kind of uh, intervention. I am very proud of it. Uh, smart parking and smart cycle stand. A brief word about the cycle stand. What is happening is that around Newtown, there are villages from which people cycle down to the bus stop and go to the main Kolkata for work and come back in the evening. Their cycles used to be kept haphazardly, often got stolen. And here, under the glare of CCTV's brightly lit smart cycle stand, uh, they are now very happy. And we have made their life, these migrant workers. This is not migration interstate, but within small distances from the to the main Kolkata city and coming back in construction works, in labor works, in security. Uh, and they board the bus over here, go back and come here. It's also uh, um, doing a lot. So the shared bicycles for the middle class and uh, affluent 
the smart cycle for the worker class and we are trying to look at every section of the society next 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 please yeah so uh, continuing on the green transportation uh, for the last 5 years so for the last 5 years we are operating uh, electric buses now electric buses now are quite common but in those days it was very rare and i remember in 2012 i had been to uk and we were looking i and my minister we were looking for solutions but they didn't have they didn't have air conditioned buses uh, electric buses because it was not needed and they say if i put a electric ac plant the energy balance would be disturbed so we shopped around and in in india only from bangalore and other places we got this assembled and right now as i speak 3 lakh people 3 lakh passengers have been on the on the electric buses only three electric buses that we run within the smart city and to avoid the chicken and egg uh, problem we are putting in advance a large number of ev charging stations around the smart city in association with eesl and otherwise and so we want to give a peace of mind to electric vehicle purchases that charging stations are everywhere you just need to switch from the petrol car to the ev car and what we are saying is that a lot of transition is happening and a few days ago we even had an ev carnival where people could ride ev vehicles and also take popcorn and ice creams with the family next in conclusion i would like to say that new town kolkata is shaping up in making the future of the next generation post covid normal in which we need a lot of open spaces we need a lot of cycles we need a lot of fossil fuel free modes of transportation and we are changing urban designs including compulsory rainwater harvesting and urban rooftop farming in try to bring a holistic change in the behavior and adaptability of the citizens in making it a sm truly smart city thank you very much uh -huh.